We walked into this village some months back, and there the officials told us the things that they thought they needed. They said, you know, you're already working here in the area of church, you're training our pastors, but we really need some help with education, with health, and with water. If you could just build a school building for us, build a clinic building, and drill a water well, that would be all that we would need to help our community develop. We smiled on the inside because we knew that was already the project that we were looking at doing in their community, but we see the wisdom in it. All those places, they don't have anything. And uh, they don't have hospital, no hospital, no water well, and uh, no education. People, they're suffering for uh, simple things because uh, these things should be curable. So the idea of a school building, a clinic building, and a water well, something that the neediest of villages can receive, something to give them an opportunity for transformation. That is Aid Sudan's Village to Village project. The Village to Village project is the idea of a village in the United States, whether it's a group within a church, a group within the community, or maybe a collection of friends. Some village in the U.S. connecting with the village here in southern Sudan. The statistics in southern Sudan are alarming. We're in front of the school. It's been provided by the United Nations, and you can tell it's just a ragged tent. That's all that's left. An estimated 500 kids come to school here, and they're crammed into that little building over there. We're in front of the clinic here for this area. It uh, takes care of 11,000 people. It's a space of about 15 meters by 6 meters. There are two wells here in this village. This one is not working very well. There are so few water wells. The UN says that there should be one water well for every 500 people, but in so many places that statistic is one for every 2,000 or one for every 4,000. Here in a place with a landscape dominated by mud huts, with people with so little infrastructure to work with, the idea of a school building and a clinic building and a water well that the community can build around so that the community may be transformed holistically, both in spiritual and physical ways. But it will be bad if I come in with empty hands, but God sent me there and sent me back here and bring them something and uh, to be uh, curable to them. God know all things. Even you suffer the most, God know you are suffering. And later on, and God will give you peace and you will be free. Those who have been blessed with resources connecting with those here in southern Sudan, those who live in some of the harshest conditions on the planet and changing communities in the areas of education, health, and water so that people may receive hope like they've never seen before and that communities may be forever transformed.